Rainbow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Oh my word, do I have a ton of subscriber mail that just came to me. My mail lady called me and she said, Kelly, you gotta get down here and pick up your mail because you have got several boxes, not little boxes, but big boxes of mail. And I thought, oh my word, when I got there, I was so humbled at the amount of mail that I received, not only just boxes, but tons of letters and cards and whatnot. And wow, thank you all so much for thinking of me. Today I'm bringing to you subscriber mail opening because I like to open the mail that you all send to me, not just because I like to show you all what I'm getting, but it's my way also of thanking those of you who send me the mail and letting you know that I've gotten it. It's really hard for me to find who it is that has sent me the mail or contact you to actually say thank you to you. And I have found the easiest way to do that is just by posting, opening up the mail, and when I title the video subscriber mail, those of you who have sent it to me, you know to watch that video to see if I have received whatever it is that you have sent to me, if you've sent me something. Whew, that was a mouthful. And so today I have got quite a bit of mail that I need to open and quite a few people to say thank you to. And I'm anxious to see what was sent to me in some of these boxes. I've got some big boxes, some heavy boxes. So let's take a look. Let's see what has been sent to me. Alrighty, so here we have some mail from Amber from Claremont, New Hampshire. I am loving this plant hook. Love the butterfly. For those of you who don't know, um, my sister loved butterflies and she passed away two years ago. And so when I see butterflies, it really reminds me of her. And I think that's probably why Amber got me this. Thank you, Amber. And we have got some of this mesh tubing. Oh, wow. She spoiled me. We've got some light blue, some white, ooh, some red for 4th of July. We've got some black here. Oh, wait for it. And we've got some pink. That is awesome. These are really cool to make a wreath with two of these mini wreath forms. These are awesome. I love this size. There's a ton you can do with them. And so, yeah, I've got a couple wreath DIYs coming up and I might have enough of a material that I'm using in the first one to do one of these mini ones as well. Oh goodness. I am seeing a truck in here and I think I know what this is and I'm super excited. This is what I thought. It is a silicone mold of my favorite thing in the world, a red truck. How cool is that? We can make a little wax tart out of this. I love that. Crayons, if you really wanted to, you could put air dry clay in these. Amber, you are amazing. Thank you. It is meant for keychains and it comes with the keychain rings, which I think is amazing. And so I'll probably end up doing it using some clay of some sort. And so that's really cool. Here we have something in here. Oh, I love it. Okay, now Amber, I know you were worried about giving me this because I said I didn't like glitter. But first of all, I have to tell you, and I'm not lying to you when I say this, I love rose gold. I don't know that I've ever voiced that, but I do. Love rose gold and because I love trucks, this is perfect. How cute, thank you. And we have got, oh, these uh, flower rocket rolls. And um, yeah, I did this one time and I didn't roll it out. But look, it says here, just place them in there all rolled up. And everybody told me I was supposed to roll them out and I didn't. And so it shows on here that you just place the whole roll in there without rolling it out. Ooh, forget me not grow, ooh, those are pretty. I think these will be fun for Allie and I to do together because she loves to plant things and watch them grow. So thank you, thank you. How fun is that? Oh, and a cool DIY owl, love that. Okay, this is super heavy. 
Oh, I love these. And you know my sister's favorite color was purple too. That's awesome. I love those. Oh, and dragonflies, whoa. Amber, did you know that? My sister loved butterflies and dragonflies and her favorite color was purple. Oh, angels in your life, they are, she must have known that. I love this. These are perfect. Amber, you're amazing. Oh, cool. Okay, she has sent me some fabric. Oh, I love this. Owl patriotic fabric. Oh my goodness. Friends forever. Love that. That is so rustic and cute. And some fun green. Ooh, that is really pretty. I love this one. Very rustic. And she has sent me a gift bag, but she told me she sent me this gift bag because of the print on it. And she knew I could use the print for something else, repurpose it. And so I love that. Oh, how cute are these owl stickers? Wow, those are really, really cool. I don't think I've seen those ones yet. And then we've got this dream hope and dream catcher. That one is really cool. And I am loving this one. Wow, that one is gorgeous. And this family and home, these are always fun for paper crafting. They're all really fun for paper crafting, but these are always really cool to use. And she has sent some letter stickers. Always come in handy. This font is a fun font to use. And so thank you, Amber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is definitely something that's gonna go in my stash and I don't know what DIY I'm gonna use it in yet, but you can guarantee someday, sometime, these will find themselves in one of my DIYs and then I'll remember who gave them to me. My curiosity is getting the best of me with this one. I can only imagine what's inside here. This box is coming from Elizabeth Cisneros from Miami, Florida. Oh my word. Holy moly, do we have a box of craft items and can I just tell you, there is some fabric in here and I am absolutely love, love, loving this fabric. Look at how gorgeous it is. Oh my word, is there a bunch of fabric? Look at this dog fabric. I love that. This is perfect. And I love fabric. You all know I'm addicted to fabric. And if you don't know it, you know it now. I am loving this fabric. It just reminds me of something country chic. This is super cute. We've got a red Valentine's Day fabric. I can make a wreath. One of those ripped fabric wreaths out of this. Oh, that's so pretty. We have got a full bag of pom-poms. Awesome. Love, love, love that. Wow, thank you, Elizabeth, so much. We've got some Dollar Trees nautical rope a bit different than the brown rope that they have. This is really nautical, this is cool stuff. We've got a couple of these fun jars here. Always come in handy. Some butterfly stickers. Wowzers, there are a ton of stickers here. Look at how gorgeous these floral stickers are. Oh, those are pretty, those bottles. Lots of floral, ooh, that one's cool. I have this one, I love that one. Oh, and this one's really pretty too. We've got a box of Jenga blocks. One of the nice big boxes that Dollar Tree is now carrying. This is a lot of cardstock. Oh my goodness, I love this pack. Oh, this pack screams me and it's double-sided. Yay, thank you, Elizabeth. Wow, and look at how pretty those are. What fun ideas. Oh, this is a Recollections one. Oh, this is a pretty one. Oh, I love this pack. Oh, I love this. In the kitchen, it's called. Oh, recipe cards. I am loving this. Wow, Elizabeth, thank you. I love paper. You can never have enough paper either. Oh, this is another double-sided pack. Double-sided cardstock always comes in handy. Ooh, look at this Christmas one. It's called an Ornamental Christmas. Is this cardstock? Oh, it is. It's a very nice textured cardstock. Oh, wow, that is really pretty paper. Wow, that's gorgeous. 
loving that. Oh my goodness, thank you. And I have seen this stack before. I want to say at Joann's maybe. Oh, this, wow, and it is a full stack. Look at how pretty all those florals are. And she has also sent me some stamps, more stamps. Wow, those are gorgeous. Look at how pretty those are. Thank you, Elizabeth, so, so much. This is amazing. So this package here is from Leslie Fisher, and this comes from Topeka, Kansas. Okay, I already see the colors. I'm getting excited. Oh my goodness. I love Pioneer Woman. Oh my goodness, do you see what I see? It is the butter dish. Look at how gorgeous this is. It is so vintage and so absolutely gorgeous. This is Pioneer Woman's vintage set in the teal and red. Oh my goodness, butter makes everything better. Yes, it does actually. And the matching salt and pepper shakers. Okay, I'm obsessed. Can I just tell you that I settled for a set of salt and pepper shakers that didn't match just because it was Pioneer Woman and I was so bummed that I decided I wasn't gonna keep them and I put them up in my cabinet because I just didn't like them. They didn't match, but these, oh my goodness. And then I saw these on Amazon, I ordered them and then two weeks later, my order got canceled. And so I was super bummed. Leslie, can I just tell you, you are the best. Thank you so much for thinking of me and being so thoughtful and just, wow, this is really generous and I really am kind of speechless. I love that you thought of me and that you saw this and you wanted to send it to me. That really just means so much to me. And really when you hear the excitement in my voice about this, it really is true, sincere excitement because I love stuff like this and I love that this is going to match the set that I've started and I mean really who wouldn't love to receive this? This is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you again Leslie. I really appreciate it. It is from Zella Young and she is coming from Berwick, Pennsylvania maybe? Alrighty. Oh, so cute. I've got some owls here. Oh, Zella, thank you. Oh my goodness. And look at what she has spoiled me with. She has spoiled me with three more silicone facial mask applicators. Do you all know what these are for? Yes, these are great for hot glue. Oh, look at, oh, I love these. Let love grow. These red trucks and these are Valentine's Day inspired. I love these. And they were a dollar somewhere. Those are cool finds. Thank you. And she has sent me this owl box by Crafter Square and four rolls of green burlap wired ribbon. Zella, thank you so much for thinking of me. I really, all the things that I love, burlap, wood, owls, red trucks, and silicone applicators. You can't go wrong with those. Thank you, thank you. And this package here is coming from, let me see, I think Minnesota and it says happy crafting on the box. I love that. So we have got a note in here. Oh my word. Look at all these goodies. Oh my goodness, where do I start? Okay, we have got some St. Patrick's Day scarves. Are you kidding me? Would you, are these from the Dollar Tree? Oh my goodness. It is the pink truck for Valentine's Day. Oh, yes, these are definitely gonna be used next Valentine's Day. How cute are those? And we have got three sets of these emergency K 
candles that can be used in a DIY, probably a Christmas one. Wowzers, I was in need of some Jenga blocks. I have got a couple Jenga block DIYs coming up. Oh wow, we've got more of these. These are awesome. Oh my goodness, I am gonna have to make a garland or something out of these. And we have got, oh my goodness, I am loving the brown and white gingham burlap ribbon, wired ribbon. I'm gonna call it burlap, it's a fabric ribbon. Okay, really, I am excited about this. Miter Snips by Craftsman. Wow, these look like some heavy duty cutters. Oh my goodness, I won't have to use Jeff's anymore. Look at these things. Oh my word, I am so excited. Amber Lee, thank you so much for these. We've got some of Dollar Tree's owl decor, wood stand-up plaques, love these. Oh my word, would you look at these milk jugs that are going to find a place here in my craft room. <gasps> I am loving these with some flowers. That's what I see in them, flowers in this new craft room. These are a new decor piece, amazing. Oh my goodness, I love these. Nice, some owl stickers. Oh, these laser cut craft, I guess, wood pieces. I love those. Thank you so much. Loving these 3D wreath forms. These are amazing. There are so many things that you can use these wire wreath forms for. And this is awesome. The wire welcome. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this. What do we have here? Card stock, five designs, wood sheets, 50 of them. <gasps> oh my goodness. I think I am just so over the moon excited. Look at the different wood. Oh my word. <gasps> Amber Lee, thank you so much. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. I definitely see these on plaques using this as a background to a farmhouse DIY and the color variations are amazing. Look at that. <laughs> my attention just shifted to these tins, these trucks. These are by Crafter Square, what? My Dollar Tree never got these in. Oh my goodness, and we've got some placemats. We've got two owl placemats, love these. These are perfect for fall and harvest and an acorn, <gasps> loving them. Love them, love them, love them. Amber Lee, thank you so much for thinking of me and just the generosity and wow, thank you so much. Okay, we have got a package here that says please open on camera from a Brian and Emily Fitzgerald and they are coming from Glen Falls, New York. Okay, first I've got to address I did see this at Walmart and I absolutely love this fabric and I went back for more and they didn't have any more. Wow, thank you. Okay, I've got it. Oh, look at how cool. She's got that wax that closes the envelopes. <gasps> I love that. We always need glue sticks, yay. Always need double-sided tape for sure. Oh wow, look at this ribbon. This ribbon. I feel like it's so vintage. Always need buttons. Buttons are an awesome addition to DIYs and there's a lot of different colors in there. Twine, yay, can't go wrong with twine. We've got this three pack of the foam tape and it comes in three different sizes. Wow, this leaf ribbon is beautiful. Look at that. We've got a lot of this burlap ribbon that I saw at my Dollar Tree once and then I never saw it again. This would be, oh, chalkboard crop it stickers. Oh, so this would be, I think, a make your own uh, chalkboard stickers and it's two pieces by Crafter Square. I've never seen this. This is a nice size. That is awesome. So you can really get creative and make whatever shape you wanted. Right on. Thank you, Emily, so much for thinking of me with all of these amazing items to add to my stash for upcoming DIYs. This is amazing. 
and this ribbon, I'm my mind is reeling. What can I add this to? I just love the vintage feel of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Alrighty, we've got a package here from Leanne Simpson, and she is coming from what I think is Oklahoma. I love that. You're my person. Oh, I love that. It looks like she found me two rolls of this, and that was genius to take it off the roll so you could mail it. And I've got a card here. Oh, Leanne, I will. Look at these. Owls, I love them. I love those for paper crafts. And this metal sign, this can most definitely come in handy for a farmhouse DIY, I love this. Thank you, Leanne, so much. This stuff is definitely gonna go in my stash and you will more than likely see this in a DIY, a farmhouse DIY to come in the future. We've got another package here from Dorothea Schultz and she is coming from, I think, Connecticut. What is this? Oh, look at these napkins, how gorgeous these are. <gasps> I know what she's thinking. Decoupage or Mod Podge, I would bet you. I gotta read this and see. Wow, those are gorgeous and the backside is just as beautiful. Thank you so much. Wow, I really like these a lot. Where did you get these from? I like those, really I do. Alrighty, so next up we have a package coming from Stephanie Sheridan from Jacksonville, Florida. We'll just start with the top here and we've got this awesome 2021 month calendar. Oh, I love this. Look, fall in love, thankful and blessed. You matter, you're in, wow, this is a nice inspirational calendar. Your life is your message to the world. Make sure it's inspiring. I love that. <gasps> what an awesome saying. Love that, love that. And then we've got one of these awesome, I would say shelf decor pieces. I wanna call them tabletop, even though you can hang them. These are nifty. I like these for DIYs. We've got a chalkboard, always come in handy. A Halloween boo, how cute is that? Oh wow, we've got more of these owls, these wood owls. So many of you saw these and thought of me, I love that. Love that, love that. Gonna have to do something with these. We've got a home sign. This can be incorporated into one of my tiered tray DIYs. Ooh, we've got some wood arrows. These are awesome, very handy. Nice. I love this. This mason jar with the burlap on top. Definitely love to repurpose these. Oh, how cute. She sent me mini pine cones. I wonder if she found these. Some burlap maple leaves. Ooh, this is a really cool color. We've got a family sign here that can be done. Another cool chalkboard and oh my word, another truck. And this truck too. This is a fallen harvest truck. And then this is the Christmas truck that I had so much trouble getting and so many of you subscribers saw them this year and sent them to me. I can't wait to do DIYs with them next year. So I am definitely keeping these in my stash for next year. And we do have a card here. Oh, it looks like it's a homemade card. Wow, that is really gorgeous. Look at this card. That looks homemade. Wow, that is really pretty. It, oh wow, that is really pretty. Um, Stephanie, thank you so much for all of these amazing pieces and for thinking of me. These are definitely items that I can add to my craft stash and that I can definitely see incorporating into some of my upcoming DIYs. So thank you so much. I'm repurposing so many things. This last box here is coming from Mary Smith in Beaver, Pennsylvania. We've got a really nice card here. Oh my goodness, I am seeing some really cool items. Ooh, the Stampin' Up Twill Tape. Wow, this is amazing. I am loving the size variations on that. How cool is that? And we've got some foam bunny shapes. 
That'll be fun to add to Allie's craft drawer. Oh, I love these prayer cards. These are awesome. Oh, my favorite ribbon for my hair. And she has sent some, wow, is that leather? Oh, <gasps> faux leather ribbon. I was like, wow, the texture of that looks really different. Wow, somebody's dollar, your Dollar Tree carries leather ribbon? How cool is that? Okay, so honestly, I, I am loving this um, leather ribbon. I have never seen this and I've never even seen this hauled in a Dollar Tree haul. That is awesome. Some of these laser cut words, the word amazing. Ooh, this looks kind of cool. I love stencils. And so we have, and the font on these is really cool. That is awesome. We've got, what size is this? Oh, 11 by 14. I think I've only seen these at my Dollar Tree a couple of times. Ooh, this is cool. Paper mache wreath. Um, Kayla's already trying to walk off with the, four, the 11 by 14 plaque. I love this paper mache wreath. I'm gonna do something with this, yeah. Okay, I think I'm getting really, really excited right now because I am seeing some really cool stamp stuff and lately I have been obsessed with stamps. Look at this cool tree stamp, wowzers. This is a cool tree. Paper crafting DIYs, oh my goodness. We've got these stamps here that have sayings and flowers on them. Oh, we've got some Halloween ones here. And these are all by Stamp It Up. Wow. That is really cool. Oh, look at these tags. We've got a penguin, a cupcake, a wedding cake, and a baby one. How fun is that? Oh, what a cute way to tag something with a stamp. Wait, I gotta look at these. Oh, these are really cool. We've got flowers, butterflies, more flowers, more butterflies. Thank you, happy birthday, thinking of you. Some leaves. Oh, burlap canvas? What? Are you kidding me? I don't think I've ever seen this. Wow, this is an eight by 10 and 11 by 14. Look at how cool that is. Wowzers. Oh, wow, I don't even know where you would get something like this. I've never seen anything like this, Mary, thank you. Oh yeah, I'm definitely doing something with this. Wow, you've given me a few, uh, actually more than a few, a lot of inspiration for upcoming DIYs with these items in here. I can't wait to use them. Oh, it's like placemats, but I think it's the design and the pattern on it that she was looking at, which is awesome. That would be beautiful Mod Podge on some wood or something. Oh yeah, this is cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is this? Oh, and these wood hooks. These will go perfect in my craft room. I saw these once at the Dollar Tree and then I never saw them again. I only see the white and the clear. And we do have some mail here. And so I do wanna show that Angela Burden uh, from Cincinnati, Ohio has sent me a couple of letters as well. And I don't typically open these in subscriber mail, but I do wanna let you know that I did receive your card. And here we have a puffy thick card or envelope, I guess I should say from a Sheila Gravely from St. Mary's, Georgia, it looks like. What do we have? Oh my goodness, I think I know what she has sent me. And she says that she saw this going through the store and she hopes I can make something out of it. Sheila, thank you so much for thinking of me and I don't mind the envelope at all, it's fine. It was the thought that counted and thank you again for thinking of me and sending this to me and adding to my craft stash. I just wanna say thank you to all of you again who thought enough about me and what I do here on YouTube to send me subscriber mail and to show me that you appreciate what I do to help support me and my DIYs and bringing you more DIYs. So you'll have to stay tuned to see what items you see me using in some of my upcoming DIYs because I will most definitely be using some of these items because I love these items that were sent to me. They are amazing and they've gotta be used in a DIY. 
So I'm going to ask that everybody please give this video a thumbs up and each and every one of those thumbs up goes to each of those subscribers who sent me mail today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you know. And until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Please stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay positive more than anything. And bye for now, everybody.